Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for July 10th. I'm reading to you today from the Holy Gospel of St. John from the 6th chapter, verses 48 through 51. I'm reading from the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. Here we go. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. This is the word of God. So Luther writes about verses 48 and 50 there that I just read. In these words, the soul finds a well-prepared table at which it satisfies all hunger. For it knows of a certainty that he who speaks cannot lie. Therefore the soul falls upon the word, clings to it, trusts in it, and builds its dwelling place in the strength of this well-prepared table. The living bread of which the Lord here speaks is Christ himself. If in our hearts we lay hold of only a morsel of this bread, we shall have enough forever and can never be separated from God. The partaking of this bread is nothing but faith in Christ our Lord. He who eats of this food lives forever. Notice that the Lord approaches us so lovingly and graciously and offers himself to us in such gentle words that it should in all reason move the heart to believe on him, to believe that this bread, his flesh and blood, born of the Virgin Mary, was given because he had to pay the penalty of death and suffer in our stead the torments of hell and besides suffer the guilt of sins he never committed, as if they were his own. This he did willingly, and received us as brethren and sisters. If we believe this, we do the will of the Heavenly Father, which is nothing else than that we believe on the Son. Therefore, our Christian life is a life of bliss and joy. Christ's yoke is easy and sweet. If we rightly appropriated the words of Christ, they would be of much greater comfort to us, but these words are not to be misconstrued and made to refer to the sacrament of the altar. There is not a letter of it that refers to the Lord's Supper. The whole chapter from which the passage is taken speaks of nothing but the spiritual food, namely faith. The sacrament of the altar is a testament and confirmation of this true supper, with which we should strengthen our faith and be assured that this body and this blood, which we receive in the sacrament, has rescued us from sin and death and all misery. It is now evident that whoever has faith in the spread of heaven, of which he here speaks, has already done the will of God and eaten of the heavenly manna. A couple of things I'd like to point out here, that Christ is the bread, not our faith. Um, and the eating of this bread, the partaking of this bread, um, you could say is done by faith, but the eating or the partaking is faith itself. Um, our faith is the partaking of Christ. Um, elsewhere in Luther's and other Lutheran writers, they talk about this as uh, apprehending uh, Christ through faith. It's all the same uh, difference. The eating, the partaking, the apprehending is faith itself. But that which we apprehend that which we partake of is Christ. The other thing that I want to point out here is that um, Scripture elsewhere says that uh, keeping God's commandment is believing in the one whom the Father sent. Um, so believing in him is not just keeping his commandment, but it's doing his will. It's doing what God uh, wants us to do. So this apprehending this believing in this faith in the bread of life in Christ is the very keeping of God's great commandment and doing his will. Let us pray. Lord, increase our faith. Help us to be hungry for you and to partake of you uh, through your word uh, through the sacrament of the altar, through faith in all ways, uh, help us to be satisfied with nothing but you. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Well, I'll be back tomorrow with Reading a Word with Luther, and I hope that you'll be here with me.